Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that we are moving house. The removers guys are coming to pack up the entire house. Everything that we own is going into boxes today. I've packed a bit but we have paid for the service where they are going to pack up the entire house for us. So hopefully that is going to happen soon. They're coming all the way from Bournemouth to Lincoln. So they are not here just yet and we have just been like faffing around doing some last minute things. I have also been up since 4 30 in the morning because i have a cold as you can probably tell and so does george so that is fun but my mum is here so helping out and everything with george and packing and all of that kind of stuff but yeah we're really really excited today is finally the day where the packers come and then tomorrow we are actually moving back home which i'm so excited for but in today's video i thought i would basically just share with you a few things that i've been doing over the last couple of days to prep and pack for the move as well as actually move and hopefully take you to the new house and i can show you around a little bit there i have actually got a full house tour of that house that i did over a year ago before we left to move here if you are new to my channel we came from that house about a year ago to move here and now we are moving back long story if you want to catch up there's loads of videos on my channel where i explain all of that but we are moving today welcome to the moving vlog guys i'm so excited now we are going to flash back to a couple days ago where i started packing loads of bits for me george and like the stuff around the house that we're going to need over the next few days so that we can like have breakfast prep bottles sterilize things um all of that kind of stuff and like have showers and things everything else everything else is going to be packed today. I have just got a couple of bags for me and George um, that I packed a couple of days ago so I'm gonna flash back now to when I packed those things and I'll catch up with you guys present day when the movers arrive. So we have three days until the packers come so we've got a packing service booked and they are packing up the entire house for us and moving it all. They're coming on the Tuesday then we're moving on the Wednesday but today is Saturday and it's my first like proper full day of off work and my mum is here she's downstairs at the moment she's helping me do the kitchen but i have decided that i'm gonna pack mine and george's stuff for like the first week after we move that way we don't have to unpack anything like there's no pressure we've got everything that we need so that is what i'm gonna do i've got to go into the office at least one day a week maybe twice or three times depending so i am going to pack some like smarter stuff i'm going to pack some like proper casual things i'm obviously going to pack clothes for george um and like toiletries and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to start doing that but i thought i would take you along with me whilst i'm like packing the things that i need to pack for the move but obviously like i'm not packing the entire house it's not like a pack with me but it's a get ready for the move You're with me <laughs> already packing come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. this is everything that i'm gonna need for the first week clothing and sort of skincare makeup wise obviously i'll need like food and all that kind of stuff but i think for the suitcases is just about it so i think it will actually fit in a smaller one i've got all of my underwear all of my trousers and leggings so i've course got two pairs of jeans and some leggings i'm also obviously going to be wearing some jeans there as well so i'll have those then i've just got a couple of knits so i've got a very thin um like light knit jumper and then slightly thicker cardigan then i've got some tops just like t-shirts and vest tops nothing too exciting so like five of them then i've got um some pjs and then some loungewear probably wear them interchangeably and then i've got three sets of outfits for work so i've got 
a long sort of midi um, long sleeve dress like very autumnal colour this one's more of a like skater dress I've also got two pairs of black tights just in case one of them has a hole in <laughs> again needs an iron but can't really do much about that at the moment and then i've obviously got like my socks here i've just got my skincare which you saw me popping in and then i've just got my hair and makeup stuff in here i'm i mean i'm probably not gonna wear loads of makeup but if i'm going into the office then i need to look somewhat presentable and then i've obviously then just got my charge up too so that is everything i think i'm going to pack in my suitcase i'm going to see if it fits into the small bag now and then we'll see what we're packing for george all fit in so I've officially now packed for the first week back home thankfully I've got everything that I need here at the moment but I've just put things into like small containers for my first week back or like a spare charger for in here so I've still got a charger out and everything so that is me sorted those are my absolute essentials I will be packing like things like my laptop myself um, but I'm still using that because I'm needing to edit and things like that but pretty much I'm done so I just need to do the same thing for George his first week at nursery starts soon after we move so I will make sure to pop in all the things I need for that but I think we are actually pretty on track which is very very good little man has woken up from his nap so I thought we would start packing his bag if he's going to let me the only things in here that I'm going to need to take with us is probably the baby monitor and the blackout blind, everything else the packers will pack and we've got the travel court already in the car so that's all sorted, it's mainly just clothes now then so George you're going to go on the floor and hopefully not attack the tripod and I'm going to attempt to pack his bag for his first week I guess back at like nursery and being at home and all that kind of stuff so like nappies pjs like everything so yeah i'm gonna crack on and do that and george is gonna help hopefully <laughs> that's not helping that's not helping silly boy right let's start off in here okay so we'll get some shoes and some socks and stuff i think right so four pairs of socks is plenty i believe yeah yeah it is isn't it Take some of these as well, some nappy bags. Yeah, that's a good idea. Socks. Oops. Oh yeah, I should probably actually take some of these. Here we go. These are bin bags for your nappies. You have many nappies. Yeah. So I've now got a bag packed for George as well. All of the bits that I might need, including nappies, a wipe. I've also popped some baby wash in a little sandwich bag, but also just in case it leaks, because it's just knowing my luck it will leak. So I've popped that in there, some wipes and everything. Got a towel for anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nappies. I've actually also just popped this in here. It's his 
um, little holder for his grow blind. It's his blackout blind. But obviously, we have still got that up at the moment because you need it to sleep, don't you? So, um, I'll pack that last thing. But everything else, he's got like loads of outfits, loads of PJs um, all in here as well. Like far more than he would need. But obviously, we all know that he gets changed quite a lot because they're messy boys. I think everything is packed for you, little man, in this bag. The last bag is basically just everything from like the kitchen. So food, formula, <laughs> bottles, all that kind of stuff. I think he's starting to get a little bit aggy now. So I'm going to stop packing. I'm going to go out for a little walk. And I will catch up with you guys when I pick up the packing again. Good morning, guys. It's now Sunday and I'm carrying on the packing today. We've got my bag, which is here. Very, very full, as you can see. Uh, George's bag is in his room ready. My mum's got all of her stuff packed behind me. And I just need to do, like, the kitchen bits and bobs that I was talking to you guys about yesterday. So, like, formula, um, like, bottles, all that kind of stuff. Um, but also maybe, like, hand soap, hand towel, like, really, really simple things, like toilet roll, like, all those things that you just genuinely need. Um, so that, yeah, like, we can just start living before unpacking everything like on the day so i think that's what i'm gonna do today i don't think there's too much else to do we've filled in loads of holes and stuff i wasn't gonna vlog it because it's a bit boring but there's loads of holes and stuff in the wall that we've just like filled and painted over we have also cut the grass and everything i'll show you in the garden now that we're moving because i don't care if you know where it is standard mod estate but um yeah this is the garden so we've actually cut the grass finally which all of that at the back there was all like weeds and stuff so we've de-weeded there um and the grass is cut and everything so actually at least it's tidy i mean it's not nice but it's tidy i've also done you would have seen already my wardrobe declutter so i'm just going to quickly show you in here because it is so much better than it was before. These are all of my clothes, like summer, autumn, winter, all of my clothes. Um, so yeah, these are all of the things I own now, other than like my trousers and my knitwear, which are in these two drawers. Um, so yeah, I've got all of my jumpers in here and then I've got my trousers in here, mostly leggings, not gonna lie, but yeah. That is everything, pretty much. I feel like I'm actually on top of things, which is quite nice for a change, I can't lie. Um, but yeah, not too long now. I actually also am trying to sell the dishwasher and the fridge because where we're moving to has integrated appliances so we don't have to purchase anything however our tenants did break our washing machine so we're going to keep our washing machine take it back with us but i really need to get rid of my dishwasher and my fridge so i've put them on like facebook marketplace for like 50 quid even though they're only a year old and we paid a lot more for them i just need them gone so i'm really really hoping that someone is coming to collect them today i really hope but we are using the fridge so i'm just a bit like I don't really know how I'm gonna deal with my fridge, but I think we'll manage just for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will happen and we'll always be ready. So I've packed a little box. I'm just gonna show you through in a second of basically like all the things I think I need to keep. Like when the packers come, I'm gonna ask them to not pack that box. Um, I have got a few more things to put in it, but I'm using them right now, so I can't pack them. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I haven't forgot too many things. You will have seen earlier that I've already packed nappies, wipes, all that kind of stuff. Plus, he's going to have his, like, changing bag. So, anything, like, day-to-day -day stuff he'll have in there, like, spare clothes and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm pretty sure that's everything that I'm going to take. I think I'll actually also just quickly pack some washing up liquid because we are selling the dishwasher like i said i've actually just arranged for someone to come and collect that so the dishwasher is no longer so i need that washing up liquid and maybe some like hand soap and stuff but we're obviously still using that at the moment so i will pack that last thing but i think we're pretty much there i'm sure there are other things that i could pack but they're not really that essential so it is now the tuesday the packers are almost here we've just got a call to say that they're about half an hour away so i thought i would share with you like the things that we are keeping from the packers and then they are going to come and pack every single thing else so tonight we are staying here still so i have packed a little bag i'm just in george's room at the moment and everything that we are keeping in this room is actually in george's cot right now so they're not going to dismantle the cot because obviously George is sleeping in it tonight and then they're going to do that tomorrow morning straight before the move so in here I've just got his bag I actually packed this 
earlier in the vlog that you would have seen I've got his toothbrush and his toothpaste for tonight and tomorrow morning and then I've also got a bag for his blackout blind which is currently on the window I've had to like remove it a little bit so that I have some lighting for the video and then also just his sleeping bag as well I need to get him a new sleeping bag because that one's getting really small for him but anyway that is everything everything else is going into the van today I think I don't really know how it works but they're doing something with all of this stuff, packing it all up. So that was all George's stuff in his bedroom. And then in our bedroom, I say, ah, oh, this is my mum's stuff. My mum is helping me pack everything. She's got everything here. She's been working from home. So she brought like her laptop monitor and like all of her clothes and stuff like that. So that's all my mum's bits. And then these are all my bits. I've got my suitcase that I packed. This is my camera bag. Obviously you guys, my camera will be going into that bag in a minute. My laptop for editing. Um, hopefully I get to edit a little bit tonight, but I don't know. And then just my handbag and a coat and my slippers of course that is everything that i am keeping out from the packers and then everything else in this bedroom is getting packed today and then we just have a box in the kitchen full of things like toilet roll kitchen roll washing up liquid i think i showed you a little bit earlier but um yeah i've added a few bits extra into that box and yeah that is everything so these things the things in george's cot and that one box downstairs are the things that we are keeping like taking ourselves for tonight and tomorrow and when we get to the new house but then everything else is getting packed by the movers today so let's just catch up when the movers are here and see what they're getting up to all right then so the packers are here i'm sat in the car because i feel like a bit of an idiot vlogging in the house like talking to myself but they have arrived we've gone for first choice removers that's their van they're based in um bournemouth but they have like depots all over I think um so they're gonna drive us back down they're actually going to pack up the entire house today now they're basically gonna pack up the entire house and they're actually gonna drive back down to our house today instead of tomorrow now because we don't have much in the house and if it like we have somewhere else to stay tonight so that's actually fine we've packed up the cars with the things that we packed and that's pretty much it so tomorrow morning they're gonna get cracking and actually unpack the house but yeah that's pretty much it for today so me and my mum and molly george is at the childminders we're gonna go for a nice walk and stuff um and then we're gonna go to my friends for dinner and stay over there thankfully um but yeah that's pretty much it later on when the movers have gone already i'll take you around the house and do a little tour we're gonna go around and obviously hoover and like wipe down the surfaces and stuff before we like march out tomorrow which is like the equivalent of a checkout if you were renting a house but it's called a march out in military houses i'll take you around this evening slash tomorrow morning when we're doing that but that's pretty much it that's all we've got to do for today so i will catch up with you a little bit later show you what the house is looking like um yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm gonna head up for a nice little walk and then hopefully when I come back, the house will be packed. Good morning, guys. It is a now following day. We didn't get any footage yeah. of the packers like at all because they were so quick. We were out for most of the day and we came back and they were gone. So they had done absolutely everything. They had gone down to where we are moving to and they're gonna unpack everything this morning with my dad. But we are in the empty house now. George is here with me, just having a little play with some toys. Um, and yeah, the house is pretty much empty. So we're just going around and doing a little bit of a hoover, bit of a clean before we do the march out, which is like the checkout kind of system with the military when you like leave the house. Um, so I thought I would share like an empty house tour of this house because I always get questions about like what the what it's like, like what a military house is like. And let me say, it's a very bog standard, I would say 60s, like military house, um, like in the UK. So anyway, I think I will take you for a little tour round and then I'll pick you guys back up when we are back home a little bit later in the new house and show you a little bit of the new house, a little bit of a sneak peek before I do a proper tour, updated tour once we've got unpacked and all the furniture's out and all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna take you from the porch and then take you around the whole house. Okay, so you come in through the front door and there's this little porch area. This is where we had all of our shoes and all of our coats and everything and George's buggy would go here as well. We would take our shoes off, take our coats off, get George out of the buggy. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is sort of the outside of the house. Then you go in through another door, another 
front door and you get actually into the house so again all of this bits are like we've just been hoovering and these are my this is my coat and everything but everything else is pretty much empty underneath the stairs is quite a lot of storage around there and then you go up the stairs horrible MOD curtains of course two sets of windows and then that kind of goes round and up to the upstairs which I can show you in a little bit but if we turn round, in here is the living room and through here is the kitchen. If we go into the living room first, I will open it up and it's completely empty and it looks really, really weird. But you guys have seen my living room loads and loads. I always moan about these curtains. I always moan about this fireplace. But this is it empty. It looks even worse when it's empty. But um, yeah, I'll turn the light on quickly. As our house is just one of those houses that's a little bit older, it has the wood chip wallpaper, which you can see all the wallpaper connecting and the wood chip. I don't know how well it's coming up on the camera, but the wood chip is really, really noticeable. And it is, of course, the standard MOD magnolia, satin magnolia that all MOD walls are. And then you've got our MOD curtains, which are just something special i have to say i definitely will not be missing these curtains they are in every single room and i'm very very glad i do not have to see these curtains ever again then we come around to where we had the tv where george is standing right now over the last couple of weeks we've had this horrible orange fireplace back here but we actually did have a radiator cover in here like we took the fire off we put that in the garage and then we put a radiator cover there it looked nicer and it was a little bit safer for George when he was like first like crawling and walking and stuff um, yeah <laughs> He's walking so well now, it's mad. Um, so yeah, it is actually a fairly decent sized living room, to be honest. But um, what is really annoying about it is on every wall there is something. So there's this huge radiator. That's where our sofa was. That actually goes, this, this door actually goes into the kitchen slash dining room through here, where I was standing at the beginning. But we've never had access through this door because the sofa like covered it up so this entire living room there's something on every wall if you know what i mean so there's like massive door and radiator there another door there and then you've got the fireplace here and then you've got another door here so there's like no wall where you can actually just have like a sofa i guess we could have had a sofa there isn't it funny when you look at things when it's empty and think oh actually we could have done that but um yeah, that was sort of George's corner where we had his like jumper room when he was younger. That is pretty much the living room. I'm going to take you into this door through to the kitchen now. So like I said, we never ever actually used this door because the sofa was in front of it. But this comes through to where we had our dining table. Again, the horrid curtains. Um, George has got some toys out at the moment. And this is the kitchen. So we've got like a, this is where I think you would have like the dining table. And then it goes on to the kitchen afterwards. We were actually lucky with this kitchen because it actually got done right before we moved in. The standard's not amazing, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a very bog standard kitchen, but it's a new kitchen nonetheless. We were very lucky with this kitchen because it was done pretty much straight away before we moved in. Um, so although it's, you know, the bog standard kitchen, it's not a particularly expensive kitchen or nice kitchen, it is new um, and that is a lot better than a lot of the other houses on this estate. So. We are very lucky that that happened. Um, like I said, the workmanship's not exactly amazing and the quality of the kitchen is not amazing, but it is new and it was clean when we moved in, which is definitely something. If you're ever gonna get military housing, this is like the bog standard kitchen that you'll probably get. And then if we head up the stairs past these horrible curtains, out there is the porch that I showed you at the beginning. Walk up the stairs, again, you get a nice little view out there um, and then walk up these stairs molly is sat here waiting for me um and then this is the upstairs it's a two bedroom house but it has got a fair bit of storage which is quite nice so at the top of the stairs here is a big big cupboard i'm actually going to show you in here because i love seeing people's storage space um we've got like a huge huge cupboard um where we had like all of our bedding we had loads of boxes here that we never unpacked um all of our bedding all of our like towels and all that kind of stuff so that was really really helpful and then we also had a airing cupboard in here it's well with like the boiler and stuff and then we go into George's room so you guys would have seen George's room a million times because I'm always filming here but we walk in and again everywhere has the horrible wood chip wallpaper and magnolia but yeah it's pretty standard like a square room almost this is the wall that we did 
feature paint or whatever. We had like a like a pattern all over it. I did a video on that ages and ages ago when George was tiny, um, and it was like a sponge print, and it looked nicer than having magnolia. I mean, it still didn't look nice, but it was all right. Um, so yeah, that was where his cot was, um, and we had like a little futon here for when we had guests staying over that we would stay on the futon and they would stay in our bedroom. George's wardrobes, this like really insanely bright orange pine colour, but yeah, that is pretty much it. And then we walk through here back onto the landing and you've just got a very, very bog standard toilet very like the floors and everything on like the kitchen and the bathrooms are exactly the same it's like hospital flooring it's not my cup of tea at all but is very standard again magnolia nothing too exciting just a toilet and then same in here like the smallest bathroom ever like i've literally got like this much space um and i can barely even shut the door but is what it is and yeah just our bath and shower when you march out you have to take off the shower curtain and replace it with a new one and leave that in the packet so that's just what we've done there and yeah that is pretty much it then as you turn around you come into our bedroom this is where we stayed again the horrid curtains are in here again just an, another empty magnolia room but it is a fairly decent size which we did quite like we had our drawers here and our bed was here and then we did have a desk here as you can see from the prints onto the floor we did have a desk area here so we did fill the room with quite a lot of furniture and um yeah we yeah it was an all right room i did just realize that the movers didn't take the lampshade in here and they didn't take it in george's room either so i'm just going to unscrew those now i'm really glad i did this little video because i wouldn't have remembered otherwise but that is pretty much it let's like say this is the last vlog you're going to see in this house and the next vlog you're going to see is me in the new house how mad is that i mean people that followed me for over a year will have seen that new slash old house because i used to live there i do have house tours of that house on this channel as well so if you are nosy and want to see one of my older videos then please do go and check that out but for now i'm gonna love you and leave you i've got to go and sweep out the garage before my march out we have just stopped at the services and we're about halfway through the journey there's an hour and 45 left to go and yeah george has been asleep for the entire journey so far like for two hours um and now i've got an hour and 45 minutes to go Fingers crossed, he is somewhat chilled. I've just turned the car seat round whilst we stopped. Um, we had a Happy Meal and a Chicken Select Meal from McDonald's. Such good mum. Um, but yeah, he's pretty happy because he's turned around at the moment. But I've got to turn him back round for the rest of the journey. So fingers crossed um we can get through this but we got into the services changed his nappy obviously we had some lunch and stuff um and now we've just got to get going again and i just hate it to be honest but um yeah it's what it is and we've got to keep going but i think i'll pick you guys back up when we get to the new house slash old house <laughs> after a very long journey down we have arrived in the old slash new house i can't tell you how nice it is to be back home there's a lot to do there's a lot of unpacking to do and it's very daunting and it is now about four o'clock and i think i've decided i'm going to go and stay at my parents tonight me and george are because we've got beds to make like the beds are all dismantled and everything obviously everything is still packed so i think we're going to go and stay at my mum and dad's get a takeaway and then we're going to come back tomorrow and sort the house out i've unpacked a little bit in the kitchen i'm actually going to show you a little sneak peek of the kitchen this is the living room but it's just very empty slash full right now um but yeah i will give you a proper tour when everything has been unpacked i'm going to show you the kitchen very quickly because that's the thing that i'm like really excited about to be back because in comparison to my kitchen that you saw in the old house in the military house this one is a ton better so i'm just going to show you that now so this is the kitchen of dreams that i've been missing so so much um so we got our kitchen done about maybe three years ago now from wix and i absolutely love it beautiful grey and everything is just like really really high quality. I've unpacked a few bits as you can see but there's so much to do. This is the situation that I'm going to deal with tomorrow I think um, but I have unpacked slightly into like a few cupboards just like glasses and sort of just a few bits so that I 
felt a little bit organized but there is so much to do like i said i'm going to tackle this all tomorrow um, and put up my bed and george's cot and all that kind of stuff but for now i've got the travel cot in my car i'm just gonna go to my parents and get a takeaway and enjoy being back home and knowing that this part of the move is over let the unpacking commence but i really hope you enjoyed this vlog guys i'm gonna leave it now here because i am so tired you can probably tell by the state of me i'm very very tired it's been such a long day it's been such a long week but i have absolutely loved taking you guys along with me and i'm so grateful for you guys for watching so i will love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next one i'm sure there'll be lots of unpacking lots of organizational maybe some decorating like vlogs and stuff so let me know what you want to see in the comments down below but i will love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next one bye guys Right, so the kitchen is officially unpacked. So this is my bedroom. I've popped all of Ash's stuff in here and I don't know if he's going to be angry with me about it. Okay, I've got this room as empty as I possibly can. Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby